Hi, welcome back to uh, Member Nation headquarters, Dan Rick and Dick Simmons, as always. And uh, for those of you who have been persevering through our Bible study, uh, way to go. Congratulations. We're on week three in section two of Luke. Now, Dick and I were talking about this uh, a little bit earlier. It seems like, um, or not seems like, the study's been split up to basically the men have been prepared. Uh, they've been sent out and they've come back but having great power and, and doing amazing things because Christ anointed them with power. Uh, and then Christ has set his face squarely on Jerusalem. The cross is ahead of him. So is that kind of the backdrop? The men are now prepared. Christ is ready to take them into the battle, and the battle is, is the entry to the cross. His life is divided. His ministry is divided right there. And everything at the beginning is headed up to the Mount of, Mount of uh, the Transfiguration. And the, 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 uh, on the mountain and uh, the Mount of Transfiguration and and there just before they go up he, he, they make the great confession he mm -hmm. says who, who do men say that I am and then, who do you say that I am and thou art the Christ blessed are you for my father's revealed so that first part is for them to get the revelation of who he really is and and get the teachings of what it means to really be a follower of his and then as soon as, as the father says, this is my beloved son with mm -hmm. whom I'm well pleased, listen to him, right. uh, he, he immediately heads down the mountain mm -hmm. for Jerusalem. And, uh, and of course, he, he made it very clear to that. Uh, beforehand, he says, uh, he, he, the, the question is just before, who do, you, who, who do you say that I am? You're the Christ of God. And then... As he, as he heads down, he, he, as the father says, this is my son, listen to him. Then it says, the, the son of man must suffer many things and be rejected and be killed and be raised from the dead from the, up on the third day. And so everything was headed right to the cross from that on. And then he turned to them and said, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. So you're going to have to walk the same path. And so the thing is that what I think is significant is as you go through the Gospels, you really need to build your faith and your confidence in him that he is the Christ. Hmm. And that he has the power and he has the kingdom message. And, and, uh, and, and that's what happens in the first part of this Gospel and, of course, actually every Gospel. And of course, the focus here is on the fact that he's... He's the son of man, and uh, he's as man, he's going to be able to make that sacrifice for us. Okay, so what are the men going to see this week as they follow Christ to the cross? Well, they're going to see suddenly the clashes that Jesus has with, with people, and uh, what it is, it, how his message conflicts with what's popular in, hmm. in, in this case in, in religious circles. And, uh, and we, we just have to, uh, he, he, he warns us uh, as we go through there, he gives warnings that tithing and he, he mentions pride and, and uh, the keys being removed. He, he really turns right immediately as he heads down, he meets the, the, uh, the, the, the Pharisees mm -hmm. and, and, and the, the lawyers. He reads six woes to them, and so that you can see the conflict is, is is set in motion. And then he goes on down, and this is on the first day Monday. He warns his disciples and the multitude to avoid hypocrisy, to fear mm -hmm. God, to confess Christ, and to flee greed. And then you see on the. That uh, he says, "Seek ye first the kingdom. Be ready when he comes, and be reconciled." So, make sure the kingdom of God is your your uh, uh, pr goal and priority. Mm -hmm. and, uh, you, you say, well, why aren't men moving faster and everything? Is because they don't see the kingdom. It says until John the law was preached up to John the Baptist. Since J said, <clears throat> since John the Baptist, when he baptized Jesus. And, and the Spirit of God came on him. Jesus began to, after that, to uh, after he was anointed and tested by Satan, 
it said he, 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 he his ministry started and, and uh, he was basically said his message was he preached the kingdom of God that was the message and, and uh, it says until John the law was preached but since John the kingdom is preached hmm. and then it says men press into it why aren't men pressing into it? Why aren't they seeking first the kingdom of God? They don't see it clearly. Hmm. And so we really need to ask ourselves to open our eyes to the message and the kingdom. And uh, this is the message of the New Testament, the kingdom of God. Right. And, uh, we've made it basically uh, basic salvation, uh, uh, which is the beginning point. Right. <laughs> but at one, uh, you'll see when you get later in Luke, he says it's a father's good pleasure to give to you the kingdom. Mm -hmm. So the whole goal of God, the Father, is to give to us the kingdom. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> to give, not just give it to Jesus, but to give it to us with him. <coughs> okay, so he... <coughs> He uh, has to take on the Pharisees, and we'll see that on Monday and Tuesday. Uh, and then uh, after, on Wednesday, back to specific teaching for the disciples. What's, what's that? He, uh, on Tuesday? On Wednesday. Wednesday, it's, uh, he gets into the teaching on the kingdom of God again. The kingdom mm -hmm. of God is within you. On sin and forgiveness, faith and duty, cleansing and thanksgiving. And on the first and second coming of the kingdom of God. So again, it's, it's the focus is there. And uh, he, then he teaches and foretells his death and resurrection. And uh, he, he ends up uh, missing uh, lunch by talking to a woman outside the city of Samaria, because that's recorded in John, and then turns around and goes and eats with uh, an old shyster named Zacchaeus. <laughs> And um, he reached the whole city by talking to the woman outside the well. And then by the one lunch with Zacchaeus, uh, he, 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 he literally, uh, sal he said salvation has come to this home. And, and he, saw, he literally restored everything he had cheated people out of mm -hmm. and, and gave half of his goods to the poor. Well, you know, it's an interesting focus, too, on, on Christ, even though he was set on the cross. He still took the time to go to Samaria and to spend time with Zacchaeus. I mean, so salvation was still always on his mind. Right. And he wanted to bring as many people with him to the kingdom. Or he wants to uh, bring as many people even now, today, to the kingdom. Uh, always. Well, I think what's so significant there is that uh, he, uh, he missed lunch talking to the five-time loser outside of Samaria from a, a ghetto town. Mm-hmm. And uh, the whole town was converted. Mm -hmm. They all came out. And he said, we've come out to hear for ourselves. And uh, then he goes to Zacchaeus. And, and so he goes first to a down and outer. And then he goes to an up and outer. Mm -hmm. And then he closes in on the middle class. Right. And uh, we, we tend to go to the middle class. Sure. And we, we think we're someday going to get to the, the down and outers. We don't we, tend to run out of money trying to build big, bigger barns, as you say. <laughs> and then, and, or, but we, and we never get to leadership types. Mm -hmm. We we need to get, if we get to the down and outers, I find it gets the attention of the up and outers. Because they're, good point. they've got there and they realize there's nothing there. Right. And they're really struggling, with, well, what am I going to do with all this wealth I've got? And they really want to help people. Mm -hmm. And uh, if they, they appreciate the fact that their lives can count. Right. And, and then in Thursday, on Thursday, uh, Christ begins his triumphant entry into Jerusalem. Right. Right. And that's when he heads to the, uh, right, he's in the city at that point. And uh, he's, he has... A period of public ministry in, in the they're right in the temple it's interesting and then he has the day on the signs of the ends of the age and uh, warns people about what's to come before his second coming 
And you, you notice how he ends that. He says, the Son of Man comes in his glory, pray to escape and to stand before him. Mm -hmm. So, uh, again, there's just a lot of powerful teaching here. You could spend... It, it certainly dispels the Jesus meek and mild persona that we always yeah, attribute that to. Him. I mean, there was no question when Christ was in town. Amen. <laughs> well, he, very clearly, he, when he set his face to go to Jerusalem, he mm -hmm. began to upset people all the way along the, the journey. Right. And, uh, but, but he knew that this is what he came to do, and uh, he was prepared to lay his life down. That he might take it up again. Right. And, uh, he's reigning and ruling now because he was willing to to lay his life down on our behalf. And then on Friday we spend time with Christ on his last days on earth. Right. And of course, we've got the whole week there. And uh, it's awesome to be able to walk it through one day at a time. Mm -hmm. and, and see basically what he went through and realize it started with the Last Supper and the Passover. And, and the Passover is basically the message of the salvation in the Bible. Right. right. And of course, it goes clear back to the, the time when they left Egypt and the angel of death passed over. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, that's the beginning point. So we should be committed by the time we get through the Gospels to realize that, uh, that, that he was that he, he, we can become more than conquerors through him who loved us and who gave himself for us. He, he paid the, he was willing to pay this price for our redemption. Mm -hmm. And it shows us also the, the, how serious sin is. Right. And uh, we do need deliverance from it. Mm -hmm. So hopefully it'll convince us that there's a better way to live and that Jesus not only died, he also was raised from the dead, and he's here today to live, and we can live with him, and, and we can be able to say, in the life that I now live, I live by the faith of the Son of God who gave himself for me, right. and loved me. So it's really not us, it's, mm -hmm. it's him. And on Saturday, that's the resurrection and his parting words to us. Amen. And his parting words to us were, get to work. Get to work. <laughs> You, you know, what, what a lot of people <clears throat> may not know about the book of Luke, uh, that the book of Acts was also written by Dr. Luke, and, and at one point in time they were all together, right? Right. And so they, but they split that, so it's, um, it, the Acts of the, of the Apostles, it's not a historical book. That's what we should be doing every day. We should be mirroring what they do. Right. So when Christ left, he gave us pretty good marching orders that you're to be my hands and feet, my mouth. And, in my ears and, and your your life is supposed to reflect my life and if we can get guys to do that uh, this place is going to change and, and be amazing yeah. the amazing thing about it is that we have such clear this material on the life of Christ mm -hmm. by men who actually walked with him and, and uh, ministered with him and uh, so he's He's really come and shown us clearly mm -hmm. what his father is like. He that has seen me has seen the father. And so we can see God the father by simply getting to know Jesus. And the way we get to know him is, is walk with him through his life and, and begin to see how he handled the difficult situations and, and the power and the grace that he had, and which is available to us. Mm -hmm. it, it says very clearly in the scriptures that he can live just as powerful a life through us as he did personally here. In fact, he says, if, if you really call upon me and ask me to do these things, you'll do greater works than those that I've done because I go to the Father. But he says, if you ask in my name, I'll do it that my Father might be glorified. He's, he's, he's right. waiting to do these mighty acts through us so that right. he can continue to glorify his Father here on earth. Right. So let's give him a chance. I think that's a great let's idea. Believe him. Actually, would you close us in prayer and, and we, we let that be the focus? Yes, Father. God, we just, again, just cry out to you that we won't limit you 
that uh, it's Christ in us that's the hope of glory and that uh, that uh, the same Christ that we are privileged to walk with on the dusty roads of of, uh, of Palestine and, and uh, the New Testament days that, uh, and uh, this, the one who we can see how he handled relationships and, 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 and opposition that, that God uh, that same power and grace is available that same wisdom is available to us and he wants to do it through us he, in fact he was able to say he that has seen me has seen the father and he's more or less saying to us he, he, he that sees you will see me mm -hmm. when you allow me to fully live in you just trust me and I'll, I'll be with you to the end, end of the age and I'll help you meet every situation with mm -hmm. the same confidence and, and, and victory and honor to my father as I did. So God, we thank you for that. Mm -hmm. Thank you that we can have a part in bringing your kingdom to earth as it is in heaven. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And men, enjoy uh, week three of the Bible study, and we'll see you again when we film the segment for week number four. Until then, it's Dan Rick and Dick Simmons here at Men for Nation headquarters in Washington, D.C. Uh, men, stay in the Word. Keep praying. Our country needs it. Your families need it, and your communities need it. And by the way, you need it as well. Amen. So we'll see you next time.